Hello kids, Shubha Manalam. This is Hemalata at Little Scholar High School. Today children, we shall do something different topic. Of course, the important topic for us in our day-to-day -day life. Okay? And can you guess? Yes, if you look at the board, you can make it out. Yes, what is the topic for the day? It is calendar. Now, we shall learn in this class what is a calendar? What information we get from the calendar? Do you really think the calendar is important in our life? Yes. Why? Because every day is a new day for us and every day has its own importance and we have some important things to do on each particular day and some days are so important that they have to be done on that particular day only. So we need to remember the day, isn't it? We need to remember the date also. Now, from where we get the information about the year, about the month, about the day, about the date, yes, from the calendar. So, calendar is a chart, okay, calendar is a chart like that, from where we get the information related to the year, related to the month, related to the day and related to the date, okay. So, for example, if I ask you, what is your date of birth? You will say that maybe some 7th September 2016 or 9th September or 9th October 2015 like that, isn't it? So, you know the date, you know your date of birth, but for me, if I want to give you any particular gift, so, I need to look at the calendar and mark the date in the calendar that on this month, in this month, on this day, on this date, I should give gift to my friend. Isn't it? So, don't you think it is important? Yes, calendar is important. Then, for example, it is a marriage anniversary or wedding anniversary of your parents. Then you would like to give gift to your parents, isn't it? Then you will mark the date in the calendar so that you can surprise them by giving a beautiful gift, isn't it? And even on your birthday also, your parents will plan a very big party, isn't it? So they should also know, um, they of course know the date, but on that particular month, in that particular month, on which day it is falling, they should know that. For example, it is a Sunday or Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, like that. They should know, isn't it? So, for example, more let us uh, see more importance of the calendar. Now, maybe your father is having a very important meeting in the office. Okay, then what he will do? He will mark the date in the calendar and he will mark the day also in the calendar that in this particular month. For example, in the month of May. In the month of May, he is having some particular important meeting. So, what he will do? In the month of May, he will mark the date in the calendar and day also in the calendar so that he will not miss the meeting. Okay. Now, for example, your mother has some uh, a date fixed with her uh, grandparents to visit her grandparents house. Okay, every day she is with you, isn't it? Every day she is with you. So, she should give some time to her parents also. So, one day she will plan to visit her parents. So, what your mother will do? Yes, even she will mark the date on the calendar saying that on this particular day, on this particular day, I will finish off my work fast and I will go and meet my parents isn't it so don't you think the calendar is important yes so let us learn about the calendar so what does the calendar tells us children remember the calendar tells us about the year month days and the date okay and the year is always in numbers isn't it the year is always in the numbers so, for example, if I ask you your 
date of birth. So what you will date? It is 2016 you will see. So don't you think that 2016 is a number? Yes. Then if I ask you when is your sister's birthday? Then you will say 2018. So don't you think that year is a number? So year is always a number like we have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 like that isn't it? So uh, year is always a number. Okay children. Then we have the days. How many days are there? Guess. Yes there are 7 days in a week. So from Monday it will start. So what is the first day of the week? It is Monday. Then followed by Tuesday. Then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So how many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. How many days? There are seven days in a week. So what are those days? They are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So what is the spelling of Monday children? M-O-N-D-A-Y. Monday. What is the spelling of Tuesday? T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Tuesday. Then what is the spelling of Wednesday? W-E-D-N-E-S. D-A-Y, Wednesday, then Thursday, T-H-R-U-S, D-A-Y, Thursday, okay. Then what is the spelling of Friday? F-R-I-D-A-Y, Friday, then Saturday, S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y, Saturday, and then Sunday, S U N. D-A-Y, Sunday, isn't it? So, how many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The day which you like the most because no holiday, it is a holiday. You will give more time to play on Sunday because rest of the days what you are doing? You are going to school, you are busy with your studies, you are busy with your homework. Isn't it? Sunday is the day which you get little more time to play. Isn't it? So all of you like Sunday. Isn't it? Yes. So now you know the days children. What are the days? It is given on the board and I repeat it. Let me repeat once again. Monday, the first day of the week. Every week will start with Monday. It is the first day of the week, Monday. Then Tuesday, the second day of the week. Then Wednesday, third day of the week. Thursday, Wednesday is the third day. Thursday is the fourth day of the week. Then Friday, 5th day of the week, Saturday, 6th day of the week, Sunday, 7th day of the week, isn't it? So, how many days we have? We have 7 days, okay? Now, remember that all these 7 days are same for all the weeks, every week, every week will have the same days only. So, 7 days is equal to 1 week. Okay. Remember 7 days. All this 7 days is equal to 1 week. And all the weeks will have the same day. Okay children. It is clear. Days in a week. Yes. Now the calendar also tells us about the month. Isn't it? Which month it is. January or March or April. Which month is it? The calendar will tell us the month also. Now your birthday falls on which month? In the month of September maybe. Then maybe your sister's birthday is in the month of April maybe. So we every year will have how many months children? 12 months. There are 
12 months in a year. A year will have how many months? 12 months. A year has 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. So, let us learn the names of the months also. Yes, let us start. So, months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Okay, let me do with the spellings now. January, J-A-N-U-A. R Y January then February F E B R U A R Y February then March M A R C H March then April A P R I L April then May M A Y May then June, J U N E, June. Then July, J U L Y, July. Then August, A U G U S T, August. Then September, S E P T E M B E R, September. Then October, O C T O B E R, October. Then November, N O V E M B E R, November. Then last one is December, D E C E M B E R, December. Okay, children. So, how many months are there in a year? There are 12 months in a year. January is the first month, February is the second month. March is the third month, April is the fourth month, May is the fifth month, June is the sixth month, July is the seventh month, August is the eighth month, September is the ninth month, October is the tenth month, November is the eleventh month, December is the 12th month. Now let us do the months little fast. Okay. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So how many months are there children? Totally 6 plus 6. 12 months. How many months are there? 12 months in a year. So, 12 months is equal to 1 year. So, 1 year will have how many months? 12 months. And all the months will be the same for all the years. Okay. Every month, whatever the uh, year can be, sorry, whatever the year can be, the year will have the same months. Okay. All the years, whatever, whichever the year it can be, any year you take. Okay. Okay. All the years will have only this 12 months only. It will not change whatever the year can be. So, 12 months is equal to 1 year. 12 months is equal to 1 year. Okay, children. So, this is about the months of the year. Now, when we know the months of the year, let us do some important dates also. Yes. Tell me what is the speciality of the January? Yes, it is our India's Republic Day. We celebrate India's Republic Day in the month of January. Okay, in the month of January what we celebrate? You have celebrations in your school also. We uh, Flag hoisting is done in the school, isn't it? You will wear a white uniform on that day. Very neat and clean, very beautiful you look on that day. What is that way we are celebrating? We are hoisting the flag. It is our Republic Day. So in the month of January, what is the speciality of that month? We celebrate the Republic Day. Then... What is the speciality of the month of March children? 
yes you have the he in this month uh, in the specialty uh, in the month of may in the month of may okay in the month of may what is the specialty of the month of may children the specialty of the uh, uniqueness of the may month is the mother's day will come in the month of may what is the specialty of the may i am telling you only few so that you can remember okay i am not telling you all the months i am telling you very few so that at this level you can remember only few okay as you move as you grow up you will learn more and more okay children so in the month of january we said we celebrate republic day in the month of may we get mother's day all of you love your mother isn't it and she is so beautiful she works so hard for you she prepares so many delicious dish for you isn't it she gives you she gives you many gifts also without any reason also she'll give you the gifts isn't it she prepares very beautiful desserts sweets for you isn't it you like to place more time with your mother isn't it so when is that mother's day yes it is in the month of may okay children then what is the specialty of the august month children tell me yes it is our india's india's independence day we got freedom from the britishers we celebrate india's or we celebrate independence day in the month of august that is 15th august is india's independence day so how important month it is for us isn't it yes then in the month of september you tell me what is the specialty of the month of september yes it is celebrated by you in the school also can you make a guess yes it is the teachers day teachers day is celebrated in the month of september 5th september is the teachers day you love your teachers isn't it they give you so much of knowledge they are day with you almost throughout the day they help you to learn many subjects they help you to eat also they help you to learn many art many drawings isn't it they teach you good manners they teach you good habits isn't it so september is the specialty of what it is celebrated 5th september is celebrated as teachers day okay children remember that and always respect your teachers and elders okay then now tell me what is the specialty of the november yes all of you know this yes children's day 14th november is celebrated as children's day the birthday of pandit jawaharlal nehru isn't it so children's day teachers also will participate in the children's day they do many programs for you they give you some small gifts also so children's day 14th november is celebrated as children's day okay then tell me the specialty of the december that is the last month of the year yes it is the last month of the year after the end of the december again the new year will start with january okay after the december the new year will start christmas also comes in the month of december we we celebrate christmas we celebrate uh, Uh, the end of the year isn't it we welcome the new year we welcome the new year on the 31st december isn't it we are welcoming we are saying goodbye to the old year we are welcoming the new year isn't it so these are the some of the specialties for you to know at this level okay children so got the days of the week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday very easy then months of the year january february march april may june july august september october november december we did little fast because you should learn them okay so we have done with this topic of calendar but there is one more thing which i want to show you so that you can very much clearly understand the calendar yes let us go through the calendar yes so this is the calendar this how it it's how it looks like okay 
Now I mentioned that calendar will tell you the year, it will tell you the month, it will tell you the days and it will tell you the dates also. Okay, so which year this is? 2021. Which year children we, are, we, are, we have the calendar of which year now? We have the calendar for 2021, that is 2021. After 2021, the calendar will be there for 2022, okay? After 2021, which calendar will come? 2022, okay? Now see, the first month is January. Then we have which month after January? I told you, make it fast, remember? February, yes? Then March. Okay. See after March. Yes. April. After April. Yes. May. After May. Yes. June. After June. Come on. July. After July. Then August. After August, we have September. Yes, after September, we have, tell me, after September. Yes, it is October. Then after October, November. Yes, after November, we have December. We got all the months here. We have written here. Yes, we got all the 12 months in the calendar. Yes. So, the calendar will have all the 12 months. And see, in the month of December also, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday is there. And we have all the dates also. Same, in the month of January also, we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And we have all the dates, isn't it? So, this is how a calendar looks like. Now, for example, how to look at the calendar? I said that we celebrate Republic Day on 26th January. What did I say? I said that we celebrate Republic Day on 26th January. I know the day, date. I know the date that is 26th January. But I don't know we, which day it is, whether it is a Monday or whether it is a Tuesday or whether it is a Thursday. Then how to know the day that is? I'll go to the month of January, 26th January, Republic Day. Then which day it is? Yes, it is Tuesday. That means 26th January is coming on Tuesday. Understood how to look at the calendar? Now, for example, we said that we celebrate uh, Christmas in the month of December. So, when is Christmas celebrated? 25th December. Again, I don't know the day. So, I will go to 25th December. I will go to 25th December. Uh, so, 25th December, which day it is coming? Check, 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 check. Yes. It is Saturday. So, Christmas is coming on Saturday. That is 25th December. So, this is the way we look at the calendar. Okay. Let me do one more simple one for you. Uh, which date? Let us take August. So, that it is easy for you to remember also. What is the speciality of August children? We said we celebrate. We celebrate Independence Day on 15th August. We celebrate Independence Day. So, month is what children? August. You came to August now. Here is of course 21. 2021. So, August. Which date we celebrate? 15th. 15th August is the Independence Day. It is coming on which days? Check, 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 check. Yes, it is coming on Sunday. So, 15th August is coming on Sunday. This is the way we check the calendar. Hope you have understood the calendar children and how to check the calendar also. It is very interesting topic and very important for us in our day-to-day -day 
life also okay so just take sakshi for the day class work learnt about calendar okay learnt about calendar okay homework is learn days of a week and months of the year okay children so we shall stop here bye good day